speaking of beautiful river cities, all month long, WCCO is on the road highlighting some of our favorite spots across the state. Yes, and today we have sent Frank and Chris straight down Highway 61 to Winona, where the city is celebrating its winter carnival this weekend. Hi, guys. The boys back together again. Hi, guys. Hi, ladies. Yeah, we're happy to be here. You know, we're so impressed with everything that we've seen in Winona, and our first impressions are just fantastic. Um, really, really neat looking river town with a lot of cool things going on, and we'll show you that through the course of the show. Uh, right now, the Winona Windhawks are practicing behind us here at the uh, Bud King Arena. Uh, Bud King, the King family, very involved with the Watkins Corporation, headquartered here, which of course started as a home delivery and spice company, and now has all kinds of home products. And then uh, the Kings are also involved in banking, and Bud King donated the money, and here we are. And I'm impressed with this town. I'll tell you what, and it, it's bigger than I think a lot of people would realize. Mm -hmm. There are 27,000 residents down here in Winona, and uh, it does have quite a history that goes back quite a ways. Uh, it was founded back in 1851 by a steamboat captain. Now, he would go up and down the Mississippi River, uh, but the mighty Mississippi isn't the only waterway in town. You'll find Lake Winona. That's also right off Highway 61. In the winter, people are out skating, ice fishing on the lake, and uh, plenty of fish to go for. We heard there's bluegill, largemouth bass, even people that have caught northern pike and walleye. Yeah, we saw a lot of ice houses. So if you're into history, Winona is the perfect place to visit. We stopped by the Winona County Historical Society today where you can learn all about Winona over the course of the years. And who knows, you might even run into the city mayor who also happens to be the executive director of the society, the society and loves to share stories about Winona's rich history. Here at the Winona County History Center, we're here telling that story of Winona's past and um, through our exhibits and our programs. And, and it's, a, it's a great place to, to start, really, to learn about the, 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 the history of our community and, and then go out and explore it and uh, see for yourself. <laughs> Uh, indeed, the Winona County History Center is open weekdays 9 to 5, Saturdays 10 to 4, even on Sunday from noon to 4. And this Sunday, they're hosting an open house. They have all kinds of free activities, and it looks like a lot of fun. We put the details on that at WCCO.com. So we mentioned Watkins, of course, headquartered here, and uh, the rich history it has, but also uh, the Fastenal Corporation, mm -hmm. and there's Winona State University and the University of St. Mary's, and a lot of other things we're going to show you. It's a cool scene. There's a lot going on. Yeah, and we drove through a few locations on the way where we've had previous lake trips in the summertime or the winter, Lake City, Red Wing, we right. went through uh, Wabasha, and at first we were thinking, oh man, it's Cross Lake cold. It was cold, but it started to warm up, and it feels pretty good, actually. If you look at the temperatures across the state, no surprise where the warm air is coming from. If you look to the west and southwest, uh, Montevideo at 27, Redwood Falls here at 25, Twin Cities, you've warmed up nicely, 21 the current temp, a little cooler down here. You can see Rochester at 13, we are hanging out at the teens here in Winona. Uh, this is below average, but this is the last of the below average feel of things for the next several days. As soon as tomorrow, it will feel like March. I'll let you know how long that kind of heat will be sticking around coming up in a bit. Can't wait. We'll be taking some layers off. Well, that'll be fun, ladies. Yeah, we can't wait either. All right. For the warm weather, not for you taking off layers. <laughs> okay, I'm glad, I'm glad she clarified. Yeah, I to say, we're not going to do that on TV. <laughs> Thank right. you for the clarification. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. guys. <laughs>